But the truth is that kids will make their own choices and they will make their own decisions even though you've taught them what's right and wrong. I'm talking more about, I'm asking you more as the, as the father of your girls than as the father of Josh. Oh my God, you guys, it was only a few years ago that Jim Bob was the patriarch of one of the most wholesome families to be on reality TV. But now, in just one short year, we've watched his downfall play out in real time as he continues to defend his son. How is this, there's been so much focus on your son. How has this affected your daughters, the release of this information? And it's kind of unbelievable just how crazy things have actually been getting for him and the family. I mean, we have really watched this guy spiral into complete madness over the last year, all thanks to his son Josh. What's wrong? Where's, why is Daddy and Josh leaving? And as we're all weeping the next day, and for days and days, I was saying, you know, Josh has done some very bad things. And there have been some crazy new developments that have come out recently about the family and Jim Bob's involvement. I just had to share this with you guys. I seriously could not even believe all the stuff that went down. Like I said, it's insane. Anyway, you guys, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into this. So it's been a while now since 19 Kids and Counting got canceled after it was uncovered in 2015 that Josh had, you know, done some very horrible, inappropriate things with some members of his family. And that story has been reported on over and over. And it's honestly insane. That Did you feel guilty? when you learned that his behavior had continued and, and other girls in the house had yes. become victims. Yes, we, I think as parents, you feel like a failure when one of your kids does something wrong. You feel like if I had done more training or, or maybe something else that this wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. There's so much that we could talk about here, but to me, the craziest part about all of this is how when this all went down back then, Jim Bob and Michelle hadn't protected their daughters at all, you guys. Instead, they decided to protect Josh, which I really do not understand why. Even when they went on the Kelly file, Jim Bob's focus was on how horrible it was that the story was leaked because of how it affected Josh and his own life, not the fact that it was horrible that Josh had done these things to his sisters. We want to be an advocate for protecting juvenile records because the mistakes that juveniles make when they're young should be sealed. I mean, it is just so disturbing. Even after everything that happened, they took Josh aside just like that. That. And really, that's what's been happening all this time. Jim Bob just tries, you know, it always seems to stand up for Josh, and he always tries to protect him at all costs, even if it ends up hurting his other kids, which is just so insane to me. I mean, it makes me really feel awful for his daughters. And it's also just so crazy to me that Jim Bob was known for so long as this loving father that puts his family first, but really, he's been doing damage to them all this time. I mean, even if you think about, you know, back to when TLC started the spinoff called Counting On after all that stuff with Josh came out. The original idea of the show was that it would be more focused on the older children, aka, you know, the victims and whatnot, as they started the next, you know, journey of their lives. But the plan was that Josh would absolutely not be on the show at all, and that the parents would only be on it very, very, very minimally. So you'd think that, you know, would work really great for the kids that were to be the stars of the show, except that's not what happened at all, you guys. Apparently, Jim Bob just doesn't seem to care about what we're gonna do doing the right thing at all because years later his daughter Jill exposed what he was doing behind the scenes. So Jill revealed that even though Jim Bob was not the star of Counting On, he was allegedly still getting paid even though none of his kids were. So it just makes me so mad. I mean the kids were literally the stars of the show and they were doing the majority of the work but still allegedly none of them were being paid if anything at all, for any of their work. And that's just honestly ridiculous to me. I mean, you know, if this is really true, then why was Jim Bob taking all of that money without doing anything? I mean, how is that even allowed? I really truly don't even understand, but that just, you know, feels like something that never should have happened in the first place. And the sad thing is, you guys, this wasn't really all that new. You know, since allegedly none of the kids were ever paid for 19 Kids and Counting either, which is horrible in and of itself because they were pretty much child stars performing on TV, but Counting On is even crazy. 
crazier because the show is literally all about them. So this just goes to show and it really proves how selfish Jim Bob really can be. And I mean, he only seems to be willing to spend all of his money on Josh of all people, but he's clearly not above taking it away from the people that have actually worked for it. And the rumors are that Jim Bob was actually making between 25 to $40,000 per episode of Counting On and about $850,000, you guys, per season. And he wasn't actually giving anything to the kids. So, I mean, how crazy is that? Now, the only reason we know about any of this is from Jill, who actually did end up getting paid some of the money after she left the show in 2017, but apparently it was very, 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 very little. And her husband, Derek, said that, you know, they had to go through some legal stuff to even get the money in the first place. And it ended up, you know, being only slightly above minimum wage after all the hours she spent, you know, filming over the years. Now, it's never actually been confirmed if she actually sued her dad to get the money that was, you know, owed to her, but I mean, can you even believe that it's a possibility that she may have sued her dad? I mean, why would Jim Bob not be supportive of his actual daughter? Like, I just don't get it. He always seems, you know, ready to go above and beyond for Josh, but he clearly has no problem leaving his other kids out in the cold. Well, anyway, you know, we know that Jim Bob is willing to go pretty far for Josh. He's been spending all of this money on him, trying to get him out on these allegations against him. And plus, he's been lying for Josh for years now. But I mean, just think about, you know, back to when, you know, late 2019, when Homeland Security raided the used car lot that Josh had owned, and we now know that this was all because of Josh's, you know, CSAM arrest, but at the time, no one knew why this raid had happened or if it even actually did happen, but that's also because Jim Bob openly lied about it. I mean, he obviously knew it was true, right? But still, he and Michelle made a statement on their Facebook page and said that the Homeland Security hadn't actually been there at all, and he's just been lying for Josh over and over and over again, and honestly, this whole thing was really just the beginning of him doing just about anything to protect Josh when it came to the CSAM case. So when Josh finally did get arrested, Jim Bob really showed he had been on his side the entire time, and that's when the line got super crazy too, like way more next level than that Facebook statement. He literally, very obviously, lied on the witness stand for Josh. When he was asked about all the stuff that had happened and came out you know, about Josh, he just kept saying that he didn't remember that Josh had ever told him some of that and that it was completely, you know, not true. And then he even tried to just flat out go against what the judge was saying and avoid the questions. And I mean, he even refused to read the report from back then and insinuated that it just wasn't true to a judge. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, first of all, how full of yourself do you have to be to speak like that in court? And second of all, how far is Jim Bob really willing to go for Josh? I mean, he is clearly willing to lie just about anything, even when there's actual proof that he is lying and everyone knows it and I think it's safe to say at this point that it's completely ruined his reputation both in the eyes of the world and you know just the people in their religious community so I don't really get why he's doing all this let alone why he is still on Josh's side but I mean can you imagine being the other kids I mean it's got to be so hard to watch I mean there have been even rumors that Jim Bob is so adamant that Josh is innocent that he won't even let any of the older kids who aren't on Josh's side come to his house or speak to minor siblings. Again, you know, it's like, why is he taking it this far? So, I mean, Josh was found guilty and they're definitely going to appeal it, but I just can't see that working out for them. I mean, apparently the judge that is on Josh's case is known for being pretty tough on similar cases. And on that note, I do want to say before I sign off for the day that Josh is set to be sentenced on April 5th of this year. And all of this has been a long time coming, especially when you think about the fact that his sisters were victims so many years ago and he never was really even held accountable for it. So I'm pretty curious to see how all of this will turn out. You know, Josh is apparently facing a prison sentence of up to 20 years, and he could even have to pay up to $250,000 in fines. But, you know, let's be honest, if that happens, I'm sure Jim Bob will probably end up paying that for himself. And again, I mean, I think it's ridiculous, but it's also probably a very likely, you know, scenario situation. I mean, it's been super clear for ages now that Jim Bob has probably been paying Josh's defense all this time, 
and we can all probably imagine that this has definitely been costing him a lot of money, and he's most likely been bankrupting himself just to pay for all of these legal fees for Josh's sake, especially now that the show is officially over. And, you know, that's probably where all that money comes in handy, right? I mean, so no wonder he wasn't willing to share that money with all of his kids. I mean, how else can he afford to pay for all of Josh's legal fees? But apparently, Jim, Bob, and Michelle even went so far with all of this as to sell some of their land on their property. And you have to think that this was most likely to be able to continue to pay for Josh's defense. You know, Jim, Bob really will stop at nothing when it comes to protecting Josh. And I'm just wondering what will happen after the 5th of April when we finally find out Josh's sentence. But whatever happens, I'm sure Jim Bob will probably have a pretty interesting reaction to it. I mean, it's really crazy to think that this guy was once one of the most religious fathers on reality TV, and now he just comes across as this ruthless guy that will literally stop at nothing to protect one of his kids, even if it means sinking on, you know, the rest of them. And it's really an insane and just super dark story, and it just makes me feel so horrible. And for everyone else involved, I mean, obviously not for Josh, Jim, Bob, and Michelle, but for people like Jill and her sisters, it is just so horrible to see. And on that note, you know, speaking of Jill, she actually has some really, really great news. She's obviously, you know, not had the easiest journey in all this family drama, but there's been some recent stuff that I bet really put a smile on her face. So the news is that Jill and her husband, Derek, are going to have another baby. So woohoo, give them a round of applause. I honestly couldn't be happier for them. You might know that they actually went through a pretty difficult time in the last year when Jill unfortunately did actually you know, have a miscarriage and lose their baby, and they're really devastated by that, which I can completely understand. And then shortly after that, you know, she was called as a witness, testify against her brother. So she was never called to the stand, but I can only imagine how difficult his trial was for her and Derek. But now it seems like things are really looking up for them. Jill announced only a couple of days ago that baby number three is on its way. And she said that the pregnancy has been really good and healthy so far, and that they're expecting their rainbow baby due July, 2022, which is only a couple of months away from now. And I will say things unfortunately took a slight turn when she and Derek announced they both got COVID over last week, but I'm sure it's been especially scary, you know, for her because of the baby. But she said that she feels, you know, fine. He feels fine. So hopefully it stays that way. But anyway, you guys, I wanted to end this video on the great news from Jill. This whole drama with Jim, Bob, and Josh can get really dark and crazy and kind of just horrible. And I can only imagine that it will stay dark for the foreseeable future, especially with this sending scene coming up very soon. But what do you guys think? about this whole drama. What do you guys think is going to happen? And what do you guys think Jim Bob is going to do? I mean, I think he might actually finally lose it once and for all after Josh's sentencing. But let me know, you know, your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I'd really love to hear what you guys all think. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please do me a huge favor at that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.